My daddy Nick Robot. <laughs> everyone this is Cybertronian Beast and let's talk Transformers okay we are taking a look today at Autobot Blaster now I guess I have to throw the Autobot name in there we've seen it on a number of other figures they throw the Autobot name before the actual character's name simply because uh, Hasbro couldn't get the actual trademark for the name Blaster by itself so they throw the name Autobot or Decepticon before the name uh, so that it changes it up because it's not just Blaster, it's Autobot Blaster. And that's different. So, the name Blaster, I guess, is taken by something. And, um, and now it's Autobot Blaster. So, for all intents and purposes, this is Blaster. We know it's Blaster, everyone knows it's Blaster. We're looking at Fall of Cybertron, Voyager Class, Blaster. Um, this figure is... Uh, this figure comes with Steeljaw, which is a uh, his disc. In old G1 days, it was a tape, but uh, this is a disc now because we've got we've moved away from cassettes. Nobody knows what those are anymore. So let's uh, take a look at the packaging, shall we? There's a really cool window there. In most uh, Voyager class figures, you get a window. You can see that uh, Steeljaw is way in the back there at the top. Blaster is in there. Uh, we've got a nice picture of Blaster and Steel Jaw on the front. And it comes around onto the side. And you actually do get a nice picture of all the other discs. Up there is Rewind. Or sorry, that's um, that's Eject. No, that's Rewind. I'm right. Uh, Ramhorn. Sundor. There's Eject. And there is the, uh, the back portion of Steel Jaw on the back. We got the same old, same old Steel Jaw. There's a better picture of Steel Jaw in his alt mode. We've got Blaster in his alt mode and his robot mode. And we've got a, a new little feature that we show you here. This is the uh, the disc popping uh, gimmick. So you can actually eject and convert the discs. And it works with any data disc figure sold separately. So you can actually, with this figure, you can get up to three data discs. Oh, steel jaw fell out. So let's get this guy open. Take a look at him. Alright, so here is Blaster out of the box and in his robot mode. And he is big. Um, bigger than um, maybe we would have liked him to be. For the uh, for com you know for looks in the Fall of Cybertron line, as far as comparison to G1, I don't actually own a G1 blaster. I I would love to have one. I actually did own one when I was younger, but uh, thanks to dear old mom, she cleaned out uh, my collection and uh, got rid of them. I don't know why, but it's still a very sore spot for me and cause of large large amounts of therapy bills anyway I digress um, this is steel jaw and steel jaw um, is uh, well lack of a better word he's horrible um, there is almost nothing to him he is very gappy and uh, yeah not overly fond of the steel jaw you can see the head sculpt on him there it's barely painted very hollow and uh, yeah he's not a great looking figure at all I mean you take into account that they get this out of and yeah it's it's pretty amazing um, but uh, with comparison to other disc figures which I'm going to show you later because guess what surprise I've got the other four disc figures to show you so we've got that here. This is Steel Jaw, and whoops, I just did it. Um, if you push the button on his underside, this little button right there, he 
auto transforms. So we'll just do a little drop here. I'll put the camera down so you can see. So we're going to drop him. And he does a bit of an auto transform. Now Steel Jaw doesn't completely transform. One of the Autobot discs does though. And uh, he's probably out of all five of them, the best. And uh, so yeah, to finish off Steel Jaw, you really do have to pull out the tail and finish off the legs. So you pull them around. And then Steel Jaw is done. But, uh, but yeah, so Steel Jaw is really not the greatest out of the five, but he comes with them and gives you the opportunity to put a disc in Blaster, which we should get to. So we're going to put Steel Jaw back into his disc mode, nice and neatly. Come on. There we go. Come on. Okay. So there is Steel Jaw in his disc mode. And we are going to put him inside of Blaster. Now Blaster, you can take a look here. Before we even get into any of the transformation, Blaster has this very large plunger type of device on his back. So you can take it in, take it out, and that moves this in and out. So there is a humongous gap in there. Hello, 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 hello. Yeah, so you can get up to three of these discs inside the cavity of Blaster's chest. So let's get him in there. Come on. And some of them are pretty snug, as you see right now with Steel Jaw. So yeah, so there he is in there. Close up the chest, move the plunger back as far as we can get it, and that's how Blaster sits with Steel Jaw in there. So the plunger's out a little bit. And it's not that bad. It really doesn't look that bad with one disc in there. And you can pop it out, move the plunger back, and fire the disc out. Come on. Come on. Plunger work. That was anticlimactic. Anyway. That's how the plunger gimmick works. On to the main figure. Throw away him. Blaster is a great looking figure. The colors on him are fantastic. I actually uh, waited for Blaster to come out because... As we should all know, Blaster, this particular figure, is a remold of the Fall of Cybertron sound wave, as well as, obviously, the Fall of Cybertron sound blaster figure. They're both, they're, all three of them are the exact same mold, aside from the head. The head sculpt's different, obviously. Um, now, I waited for Blaster, because Blaster is just awesome. His colors are great. The um, It really just does come down to the colors. And on top of that, um, one, like I mentioned earlier, one of the Autobot discs is uh, heads and tails above better than all of the other discs, including all five of the Decepticon discs, which we're talking about remolds. Uh, Steel Jaw here is a remold of Ratchet, obviously, right? Obviously. So we'll get rid of him there. Uh, Blaster's gun. Quickly talk about it. Uh, it's a great homage to the Blaster's G1 gun, and it's a. There's nothing special about it. Whoops. Um, it's just black plastic, no paint, no transforming gimmicks or anything like that. You can hold it in both hands. Whoops. Let's get it out of here. So yeah, you can hold it in either hand. Plus, there is a peg hole on the top of him when he's in alt mode. So this plunger area here. So you can peg it in up there. And if you've got a very, very small figure, you can get him in there. So yeah, he can actually stick the gun on top of him. So 
let's get into the transformation of Blaster, which is actually pretty cool. So first off, you're looking at Blaster, and he's pretty big, he's pretty cool. What we want to do is we want to get him into, well, let's face it, it's a big Cybertronian van or truck. Um, so let's transform the, the arms first. The arms are going to come out of this peg here. We're going to lift this up, and we're going to swing it around. Actually, we're going to bring the wheels out first, because the wheels, guess what? They're in the front. Surprise, surprise. And these, these little gray bits here, that's a fender. So that comes all the way down here. And there's a peg right there. See it? Right there. That goes right into that hole. So let's get that in there. Perfect. This piece here, this comes all the way around after you push the hand in and just kind of snuggles right in up against the other piece. And that's nicely nicely fit, and fit right in there. We're going to do the exact same on the other side. Open that up. Drop the shoulder down. Peg it in. And sneak that hand in and right underneath. So we've got some nice easy spot here. Now the head, the head doesn't move anywhere. We just cover it right up. Just like that. And that's the way it stays. No big whoop. The plunger, we got to get it out of there. So it's on a double hinge, almost a triple hinge really. So we're going to bring it up and it becomes like a, uh, like a, a roof for the truck. So it sits kind of like that. The legs, they become the back of the truck. So we got to spin the whole crotch piece around and it detaches very uh, MP10-esque. Just like that. And you bring it all the way around and clip it into the back, like so. Now we're going to bring the legs around and we're going to bring the feet up. Actually, we're going to leave them out a little bit because they're going to peg into later. And the, the wheels here, this whole side panel, this spins right around, just like that. Whoops. And pegging it all together on the arm. There's a small peg right on the arm there. Let's see if we can see it right there. And it's going to peg right into there. Where are we? Right there. So let's get that all in. Perfect. And now we can bring the feet down. Just like that. And that's one side done. We just got to do the exact same on the other side. Remember, spin this around. Then bring it all together. Peg. The foot in. And now we got to just straighten out that. And that's perfect. And guess what? We are done. No, we're not. I lied. We have to untab that a bit. See, that's flat right now. The front is flat, and that's for alt mode. If you untab it a bit, it comes out on an angle. And now that's that's the way it's supposed to be for, for alt mode. Perfect. And it looks pretty good. There's a bit of a gap... A very large gap, actually, when you're in the back here. Um, we can peg in the gun on the top, so it looks like he's ready for some battling. But other than that, he is ready to rock and roll. And there he is. That is Blaster in his alt mode, his Cybertronian truck slash van mode, whatever you want to call it. And uh, he looks pretty badass. I like it. The colors, like I said earlier, the colors are fantastic. And, uh, yeah, he rolls very well, even though his wheels are not really wheels, they're just, yeah, I'm not really fond of the wheels, they could be way better. Um, the, uh, the top bit here, it doesn't really want to stay together, it likes to separate on its own, so that's a bit of a complaint. The plunger gimmick still works in uh, alt mode. So you've got 
the little gimmick at the back, or the, sorry, the little button. So if you can push that, let's just detach the gun here. We're going to push that. We're going to open the front. So there's that. And yeah, you can still plunger away with this guy. Just like that. So the gimmick is still very, very active in, uh, in alt mode. Not that I would want to have a giant truck throwing things at me. But it's still possible. You can still have it do it. Um, now, there were a lot of people that thought, we've got a blaster coming out and it's not a giant boombox. Well, there were some awesome fans out there. I don't know who they were. But somebody came up, I think it started with Soundwave, obviously, because Soundwave was the first figure released, and he, too, was a boombox slash, slash cassette player. And they figured out how to turn Soundwave into a boombox. Now, because they're the exact same mold, guess what? Blaster can be turned into a boombox. you got to use a little bit of imagination, but you can do it. So let's do that. What we're going to do is we're going to take them apart a bit. I'm going to move that around. We've basically got to put them almost back into robot mode. But he looks pretty good when he's done. Now we're going to bring the whole crotch piece out and bring it all the way back around again. Connect it. Just like that. We're going to bring the wheels the front wheels anyway. We're going to bring them back, right back around. We're going to bring the arms. We're going to bring them down, I believe. I'm trying to remember this here. The, the plunger goes as far down and out of the way as possible. Because you don't need to see it. The legs, the legs you get to mess around with. They turn like that, and they come up like this. Now, it's up to you whether you want to try and move the arm or the wheel around like so. Like if you think that looks better, or if you think it needs to stay like that. Personally, I like it like that. It's a, just keeping that leg just like that. And now you've got your blaster in a uh, boombox mode. And yeah, and guess what? The uh, plunger gimmick still works. Um, now, some people have taken his gun because the port for the gun is on the back and they've put it in on an angle so it kind of looks like he's got an antenna of sorts. It's, it's fine. It's no biggie whoop. No big whoop. But, uh, yeah, I actually really like this mode and think that uh, probably this is going to be the way that I store my blaster simply because not fond of blaster in any other form than boombox. Now there is a gap here and you can kind of, no you really can't, there's a gap here. Guess what, there's a gap. It's not meant to be in this mode. So that's the uh, that's the fan mode for blaster as a boombox and I think he looks pretty good in that mode. He's got a ton of cable on the back but that's fine. He's got a, he uses it to lean up on and I think it looks pretty good. Now, as promised, I'm going to put Blaster at the back there. We've got the other four Autobot cassettes. Thanks to my friend Dog Cades for grabbing these for me. I think he got them in the States because it took us a long time here in Canada to get them. Um, but I do have them now. We've got
Rewind and Sundor. There they are. And we've got Ram Horn and Eject. These will be really simple to go through. It's not big, no big deal. We're going to start off with Rewind. Let's open up the little case that he comes in. It's so cool. So there he is there. We're going to try the, the drop gimmick. See how well he does here? Nope. <laughs> Oh, there he goes. Cool. Okay, so most of him does pop open. I'm going to pop open the feet there. The feet are horrendous. Look at that. And we've got to bring the arms all the way over because he's got them in the air. He's got his arms in the air. <laughs> but other than that, he uh, basically transforms on contact. I like the head sculpt on him. His head sculpt's pretty good. There's a lot of paint on that little, little head there. Um... So you've got the silver paint on the head, the gold on the eyes, and the red on the mouth. His back is essentially just a whole bunch of springs. But uh, there's zero articulation in the arms. I mean, these guys, the, there's not going to be a lot of articulation. If you're looking for a lot of, you know, stuff on these, you're, you're not going to get it. Here's Sundor, which is a repaint. I should mention that the, uh, the little robots here, the Rewind and Eject, they're repaints of Rumble and Frenzy. Here is Sundor, and Sundor is a repaint, obviously, of Laserbeak and Buzzsaw. Let's do the drop test. Let's go. There we are. Boom. All right. And that's pretty good, actually. I don't think there's a... I don't think I actually have to transform anything on him. Now, that's actually really good. Um, I don't really like the, the tail that they use. But I love the colors. I love the colors on Sundor. It's fantastic. Um, his wings are they're a little fat and not really much of a wing, but whatever. Um, so he's really good. And uh, yeah, his head sculpt. He's got the nice Autobot symbol right on his forehead there. Yeah, he's quite good, actually. We're going to go with Eject now. Now, Eject, like I mentioned, is a direct repaint of Rewind. Drop test. Come on, guys. You suck. There we are. All right. All right. So his arms are straight up in the air. We've got to fix the feet. Fix the arms. Perfect. Okay. Same thing. Head sculpt. Really nice. Colors just don't pop for me as much as they do with with Rewind. There they are side by side. Yeah, not not big of not not as much of a fan of Eject as I am of Rewind. Just the black plastic um, really does it for me with with e with Rewind. And here's the one that is just awesome. This is Ramhorn, and Ramhorn is the original mold for the Autobot cassettes. And I don't think the Decepticon cassettes have an original mold. Well, they do. I think they have Ratbat, actually, yeah. So, but Ratbat's essentially the same as, you know, Laserbeak and whatnot. But Ramhorn, this guy's awesome. First drop, look at that. Fully transformed. He's great. I really like uh, Ramhorn. It looks, just looks bulky. He looks fantastic. On the bottom, there's really not a whole lot of stuff showing, not a lot of springs. I mean, you can see a couple in there, but the uh, he just he looks fantastic. Loving Ramhorn here. And, uh, yeah, so the head sculpt on him just is, you know, it's not much of a head sculpt. It's just a big piece of plastic with a with a horn. But, yeah, no, he, he's fantastic. I love this figure. It's a, it's a great little figure. So, yeah, those are the four Autobot cassettes. Or cassettes, the or Autobot discs that come that are paired with Blaster, and they are perfect. It is Blaster's a great figure to get if you're able to get any of the uh, the Wave uh, two one or two of Fall of Th Cybertron Deluxes. This is the one to get. Uh, 
Blaster is just fantastic. He's his colors are great, and uh, his discs that that you get with with him are fantastic too. Uh, except for obviously Steel Jaw. Steel Jaw is a miss, but uh, oh well. You got to get something with him for free, right? When you buy the figure, so they give you they give you the the lame duck. Whatever. Anyway, if you guys have any questions about this video, uh, please feel free to leave it in the comment section of the of the video here, and uh, I will do my best to answer it. Um, if you want to follow me on Twitter, I have a Twitter account. It's at Cybertron Beast, and I post all kinds of pictures on Twitter of uh, my figures and stuff I'm doing, any kind of sightings I'm doing in my area. I live in London, Ontario, so if you're in this area, you should be following me on Twitter because it could save you some time uh, searching around for figures. And uh, if you want to follow me on Facebook, you can do that too. I post all my videos on Facebook, and I also have all of my pictures of all of my figures on Facebook as well as uh, as well as a uh, a section that um, where I have some fun where I kind of put pictures up and you know play around with them and stuff and yeah it's kind of fun and anyway, the one thing I would definitely suggest is subscribe to this channel because subscribing to this channel gets you all the videos all the time anywhere so do that definitely anyway thanks for watching I'm Cybertronian Beast and I'll talk to you later.